So hey guys and welcome to your yet another tutorial on MMF2 or Multimedia Fusion 2. So today we're gonna make today I'm gonna show you how to make a snake snake engine so that he has a head and he has some balls yeah balls he has some tails and stuff so make an active object this will be his head yeah very good drawing okay let's label this head H E A D and stuff okay and don't forget the hotspot and action point ow I pressed the cancel button okay so now what we're gonna do next is to clone this like four times if you want your snake this long and we're gonna wanna make the tail look different This is a little pro tip. Um, make sim size makes the size the same if you select all of the objects. So now you have active, active two, active three, and active four. This is your head. This is the tails. So what we're gonna do next is to make the movement a bouncing ball and this guy is a bouncing ball this guy follows this guy this guy follows this guy and this guy follows this guy and that constitutes our snake so new condition click always um, direction look in the direction of and click your green stuff direct and so is for the other ones Oops. Okay, so test it out. Yeah, I forgot. Um, position, test position of active. Also, this test if he lives in the left, up, right, down. And movement, bounce. So there you go, you've got a little snake. And what makes them so colliding is because the speed of this one is the same for all. So make this like 55, 50, and 45. Sorry if I'm a bit slow, it's been a long time since I haven't touched this thing. And there you go, you've got a snake. So yeah, this is very useful when making boss enemy in RPG games or Zelda style games. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Steven Gaming TV forever. Okay, goodbye.